Got a YouTube, Joby from Oz. And being it's the 50th anniversary of the moon landing, we thought we'd bring the Apollo 13. Do, 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 do. Out onto the table for a bit of a walkthrough. So this is a device for sharpening end mills. Two flute and four flute end mills. And it has all the jiggery pokery to do all the secondary and primary relief angles and a whole pile of fancy setups. And then there's its big brother, the Apollo 22. And this one will go up to 22 millimeter diameter, two and four flute cutters. Again, you set your tool, then you do primary and secondary cuts and the diamond stones in the bottom. Pretty fancy stuff. This one's been wired up with a bit of lunar dust extraction. And I imagine that that's probably what this hole here is for, to catch any of the feed out on it. Um, moving over, we find a drawer full of shell line bits. And this is out because we have finished moving some tables upstairs. Five meters. Five meters a bench. So we're starting to populate the upstairs department now. And so there's the PC for checking stuff, Macintosh. The tool and cutter grinder, and then over to some of the shear lines that are running. And we're currently wiring this one up, so we've got a CNC mill capability set up so Dad can start to have some fun. Yeah, we'll bring you back once we've got some live action shear line stuff. Here we have the world's slowest X move on a CNC. We're going at 30 feed rate. I've asked it to go 10 millimeters. I've asked it to go 10 millimeters in that direction. So it looks like our Y is in the wrong direction. Cool. All right. I am going to set us zero. Did you find your thing? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Oh. Crap? Crap. 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 Oh, crap. Oh, dear. It's going to go up the end. Oh. <laughs> what happened then? I went 200. Cable came through and the cable came through yeah. and it was bolted on. Yeah. And you always sand it and paint it.
Gloss white, maybe. Right. Or gloss white, maybe. G1 is a go command. Z60 says go to 60 millimeters from origin. Feed 300, 300 millimeters a second. A minute, millimeters a minute, probably. There you go. We got a live one here. First CNC manufacturing in JB's Old Man Workshop. Drink to that. Happy days. So, just a quick glance. This is for the Colchester. It's a collet set. Charmer, Dad says. No, no, it's not Charmer. It's something else. Yeah. Um, metal block. Metal block. That's it. Here, we've got some. 
Uh, yeah. So, of course, that all goes to Bridgeport, doesn't it? <laughs> In your dreams. Well, doesn't that what the horizontal milling attachment head for the Bridgeport needs? Don't know. I'm sure it, it is. Work on it. I'm sure it is. But that's those guys. Yeah. I've got all that crap up there. But what do I do with them? Put them somewhere. There's cutters as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've got too many sets of these, Dad. Only two. Too many. Two. Too two, many. Two sets. Too two many sets. sets. Too I've got many. too many of these. They need grinding down to be. Yep. Um, precision ground. Precision ground. There's ah, uh, the old meter toyo. Half to twelve. Yep. And not one to six. Yep. And the one to six is precision to four places or something, isn't it? I think the, the twelve is precision. Um, where did I put the other cutters? This is some module cutters here. Oh, that's it. Yeah. yeah. They're the cutters. Not the other ones. Nice. Yeah. So what, are they modules or DPs or? A bit of everything, yeah. some of each. Yeah, cool. Now, did you see Ray Shalene showing how to use one of these on the English wheel to take the corners off and smooth out the Sandwich. English wheels? No, I didn't. I, I saw that, but I thought mm. he was using a, a, a battery drill to yes, drive it. with one of these on it. Oh, okay. So this was the drive.